This week in our World of Motion series, we've traveled on roads, rails, and across the sea to show how and why people move. Today, we take to the sky to see how flying has the power to change lives. Charlie Daggett went to Dundee, Scotland, where Britain's Royal Air Force is helping some remarkable teenagers get a new outlook on life. For most, flying is a matter of function. And that's just in the air. A means of getting from point A to point B that many consider tedious or even ordinary. But as these young boys show, that all depends on your point of view. Take 13-year-old Cameron Herring, who'll be the first to admit he's around 1,000 feet outside his comfort zone. Did you ever think you'd fly a plane? No. <laughs> what do your friends think of this? They think I'm bonkers. They think you're bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because if I crash. <laughs> bonkers. Because Cameron is flying blind, literally high above the hills of Dundee, Scotland. Uh, just like you, you just feel the aircraft. I just hold it like that. Okay. okay. Very nice. Uh, pitch up a little bit. He lost his vision three years ago and now manages the world around him from memories of his 10 year old self. Are you envisioning? What you're seeing? Uh, kind of. And what do you see? Uh, a plane. <laughs> well, I guess I ask a stupid question, <laughs> that's what I get. A mystery illness left him in a coma and for a time unable to walk. For that, he says he's lucky. Things could be worse. And what does this mean to you? A lot, because when I was in the hospital, um, the doctor says I've been in a wheelchair for all of my life. and. It's just really good to be doing this stuff. Cameron and his vision impaired friends are taking part in a program run by the Royal Air Force. There we go. Really at the heart of it, what we're trying to do is use flying as a medium to help young people achieve their potential. And that's irrespective of their background, whether they've got physical disabilities or perhaps social, you know, they're in socially deprived areas. So we did that left turn. Yeah, to lift them up and help instill a belief that if they can soar above the clouds, maybe they can do anything. It certainly helped Daryl Stewart. You seem very confident, Daryl. Yes, I am very confident. Yeah, that's what we want to see in a plane, nice and confident, nice and relaxed. Yeah. More relaxed than I was as we got to experience Daryl's first landing. What was the best part about it? Yeah, probably the landing part was good, yeah. Getting a little bit nervous at the landing? No, I don't do it. It's all right. Wow, I was. <laughs> the Royal National Institute for the Blind's Jane Coates says it helps young people see the world differently. When they get to try something this exciting, the smile on the face says it all for me. They come out and they're buzzing and they're so proud of themselves. You can see that the spirit's been lifted. Cameron was a gifted young athlete when he lost his sight, something he's not going to give up on now. They can kind of do judo, boxing, running, the drums. I do all this stuff, that's what I love to do, and I'm not gonna stop it. Because I'm blind, I'm not gonna stop things like this. We have a phrase in the Air Force about the sky's the limit, but actually for, for the people today, we want this just to be the beginning, and that's how we want to use it. So the sky isn't the limit? No, not anymore. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, Dundee, Scotland.